Hello, I've had a request from Shane from TechEd Systems in the USA, one of our partners, for a little demonstration of Arduino, Uno, uh, eBlocks and Flowcode. So here goes. What I've got uh, in front of me is some hardware and it's based on our eBlocks range. And eBlocks is really cool. Basically, you take a processor and we have an Arduino there. You can get a PIC or you can get an ESP or various other upstream boards. And we present the ports on these eBlock connectors. They're 14 way, which is, gives us eight bits, power ground and a couple of spares. And to connect things, you just push them together like this. There's no power and ground, it's done. So this is our combo board. And the combo board consists of um, 16 LEDs and switches uh, and some displays and some sensors. And there are lots of other parts available for uh, eBlocks. Um, you can get a expander board like this and with that you can connect any one of the hundreds of different grove sensors. So there's just a potentiometer, uh, that's a distance sensor, uh, there are thermistors and all sorts of other bits. But we're not going to be using that today. Uh, you can also get separates. This is a fantastically flexible board. Um, it does have a downside that there's many things connected to one pin. So you do have to know a bit more about the circuit there. And you've got to have these switches in the right position. It is slightly simpler in one sense to use these separate boards with just LED switches and LCDs on, but you're forever then connecting and disconnecting, which could be a problem. Now we also supply this rugged backplane and uh, there are plastic covers available and that just makes the whole assembly a bit more rugged, um, which is, means it's gonna last a bit longer. So what we've got today is an Arduino board, a combo board, and we're also going to connect a motors board. When you're connecting the motors board, you've got a little power supply that goes with it. The microcontroller won't supply enough power for the motors, and you have to make sure you have the right setting, and you've got to get it on 5 volts. If it's too much, there's a cutout on the board, and it won't work. So I'll just plug that in like that, and then connect the power and the LED should come on. We also need to connect the Arduino. So that's the actual Arduino. And we're also gonna connect the um, Ghost main board, if you like. I'll show you Ghost in a minute. So that's our hardware set up. Um, and what you need to make sure is you have these switches in the right position. Um, so we want the first two bits to be analog. So that switch there is right. Um, we want to use the LCD, so that switch is up. We want to use the set the we don't want to use the seven seven display, so that switch is down, and the power needs to be on, uh, and that switch doesn't matter. So make sure you've got those switches in the right place. So that's our hardware. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just talk you through the program that we've got. This is our program. This is our panel. Um, we've got a mock-up of the. A combo board and a couple of lights there we're showing our output so I'm going to use that just to drive a bit of a motor um, and basically we have a number of different uh, routines the main routine sets up the uh, LC display and print stuff and then it calls these subroutines the first one is motor test and basically the motor test is just going to uh, turn the motor on and off five times uh, then we're going to flash some LEDs. We're just going to put a counter onto uh, some of the LEDs. Then we're going to sample the light sensor and the potentiometer and display that. So it's quite a simple program. I won't go over it. You can simulate it here and you can see it all working and you can pause and step through uh, so you can see the, uh, the flow chart simulating uh, a bit slower and see which icon and which subroutine is, is activated and so on. Um, so that's quite good to show your customers that. Um, and then once it's all uh, wired up, you basically just compile to the target and uh, the program will go into the chip. OK, so it's uh, it's in there now. I'll just press reset. So the first thing it does is um, it tests the motor. It goes forwards and backwards about five times then we've just got a little counter 
on um, that row of LEDs there. That's D0 to D7 on the Arduino. And then we've got a little analog sensor. Um, we can alter the potentiometer and you can see that displayed. So that should be 0 to 255. And the little light sensor there, if you've got a mobile phone, if you just shine that on it, it'll get to, that number will get to 255. Um, it doesn't loop endlessly. If you want to start it again, you just uh, press the reset button. It'll cycle through the whole thing again. Now, the other thing that uh, is on, on here is um, there is a data recorder. If I just minimize that hardware now. So this is something that we call Ghost. And if you turn Ghost on, that's uh, this board here and you press reset. Um, then what you can see now is you can see the pins uh, on the chip and you can see how those respond. So that's the motor coming on and off. Um, and if you set it up for um, port uh, or D0 to D7, you'll see the counter on there as well. And that's really impressive. OK, hopefully that helps you. Um, thanks for watching.